Hello everybody! This is MF and welcome back to more Mario Kart Wii. Last time we did Shell Cup, in where I discussed my experience with Mario Kart at length a little bit. Um, in today's episode we're doing the Banana Cup, is that what it's called? I don't know if that's what it's called. But uh, let's be... Let's be Baby Daisy, I guess, I don't know. Um, so we're doing the Banana Cup, which has a um, very, um, very, uh, iconic levels as well. Which begins with Sherbert Land, which is also in the N64 version, by the way. Um, it's from originally in, in, in the N64. Um, just a big ice level with, well, what else? I don't know what really it is. Oh, I'm gonna hit the okay. We didn't hit the the pegman. Good for my sake and its sake, to be honest. So yeah, this is a track that I know really well as well. Uh, of all the Mario Kart games, maybe Mario Kart A is the one I've played the most. But behind that, Mario Kart 64, I think I want to say, played a ton of Mario Kart D Double Dash as well. Um, this game, Mario Kart Wii, played it a fair amount, but not as much as the others. Uh, it has to be said, um, the Wii was around the time where I didn't really play a lot of Nintendo, when the Mario Kart Wii came out. But after that, I played um, another Blue Shell. That is the fourth today, um, on today of my day when I'm recording this. The first in this video. Um, but anyway, yeah, um, I'm sure that I've played the handheld versions a little bit less than this one. So Mario Kart 7 will come after it. Um, and then Super Mario Kart, I haven't played a whole ton because I didn't grow up with it. I don't really have much, I don't really have nostalgic feelings for it. Or, yeah, for it would probably be correct to say, yeah. Um, so I don't... I don't know, I just... I think it's too hard, honestly. I think Mark, Super Mario Kart is a very difficult Mario Kart game. Um, it's the first one, obviously, but it's also, in my opinion, the most difficult Mario Kart game out there. Uh, Super Circuit comes close, by the way. Super Circuit is a difficult game as well. But, um... Yeah, Mario Kart 64 really... You know... Um, they really... Calm down on the difficulty part a little bit to make it more of a family friendly, um, more of a family friendly. My God, I'm so far behind. Not far ahead. I mean, um, yeah, I feel like yeah, Mario Kart 64 is more family friendly than uh, Super Mario Kart. Um, I do know that that one. The Super Nintendo had a lot of. Good, good video games, good family video games, so it, there was no lack of family games on the SNES, but um, yeah, um, the N64 kind of bumped that up a little bit because um, the N64 was the first Nintendo console with four different um, uh, uh, controller ports, so you could use, you could play up to four players. The SNES only had two, so, um, and obviously the uh, predecessor NES only had two as well. And handheld consoles were largely alone, unless you could link up with another Game Boy. Um, Anyway, I wanted to rant about something, because uh, on the end of the last video, I got one star from that cup. Which indicates to me that you need to play near perfect and not get hit by stuff. And that seems like an incredibly unfair thing to do in this game. Next stage, by the way, from the GBA, Shy Guy Beach. Um, but anyway, yeah, let me just continue, because you get blue shell a lot. And... Uh, you get the power blocks and you got the lightning, so there's a lot of randomness to it. So it feels like 
you're playing against RNG for the most part to get the stars, which I'm not sure I want to do that. If that's the way to unlock characters, then... Good lord. Or cars even? Vehicles even? Um, I don't know. It just seems unfair. But, uh, yeah, anyway, here we have, um... Crap. Um... Here we have, uh, Shy Guy Beach. Um... Which I'm sure that is named after... The, um... You know, the ships that you see are... Um... Where is it? Are there... Shy Guys on the beach? I don't see any shy guys, I only see the, the parasols. So the the beach must be named after the ship in the background, right? The pirate ship? That is um, shooting cannons at the beach? That seems like it. Um, they're not really dangerous, really. I mean, how bad are you gonna have to be playing to get hit by those cannons? Oh, actually, you know what? Sometimes they can be precise, it looks like. <laughs> Whoa! I didn't feel like I'd be playing that badly. To be honest. And they're right behind me. Hopefully I win this still, though. But, uh, anyway. GB Average is called uh, Super Circuit. I mentioned this earlier. One of the more difficult games in the series. Um, it's still a fun game. Just a little different from any other Mario Kart game, actually. Um, I did play it on my channel many years ago. Um, 2015, I think it was. Um, so it's been seven years since I did it. I also did uh, Super Mario Kart back then as well. So I've done most of the Mario Kart Kart games so far. I have done some Mario Kart 8 with a friend, I think, uh, when the Wii U version came out. So that's been a while as well. I'm doing Mario Kart Wii now. I'm gonna find a way to do Double Dash. I've done Mario Kart 64. Um, then there's Mario Kart 7, which I can probably find an emulator to do that. The same with DS. Actually, no, the DS I have on this console, on the Wii U, so I might do that after this. Anyway, here's the Fino Plaza, speaking of, uh, sorry, the Fino Square, not Plaza. Uh, the Fino Plaza is from uh, Sunshine, the Fino Square is this. Also, the Fino Plaza is from, well, it's a stage in Mario Kart, uh, Super Mario Brothers Brawl, Super Smash Bros, sorry, Super Smash Bros Brawl, and then we and Ultimate. So it's been in three games, but anyway, the Fino Square is a track from Mario Kart, from Mario Kart DS. So, um, it's actually a really fun, um, fun stage. This is one of the more fun stages, I think, they made in any Mario Kart game. Very, um, like, you're running, uh, this is base. I'm gonna assume that they actually made, um, a track for, um, that was intended for, to be, um, in Mario Kart 64 called Town, um, which was recently, I think last year, released um, as an emulator or something, like or a ROM or something like that. I saw uh, someone on Twitch stream it. Um, and this is probably a refined version of that stage, of that track. Um, like a better, better um, track. Um, they probably looked at that town like, yeah, we could probably make something out of that. And then they put it in DS, which is great, because this is a really good track. It's a really fun track. Um, is that a boot shot? No? We good? Okay, we good. So, um, yeah, I, I, this is one of my favorite tracks in the entire franchise, to be honest. Um, really like this uh, track. Very competitive with friends, actually. Uh, this is basically Mark R. Lee is the one I played this with friends on. To be honest, this state, this, this this track didn't really play with friends on Nintendo uh, DS. Um, any handheld version I didn't really play with friends. 
except for uh, like uh, Super Smash Bros. For, for the 3DS. I actually want to get my hand on a new um, 3DS XL or 2DS XL, one of those two, so I can play games again. And maybe hack it, send it into someone that can make it so I can record from 3DS. That would be nice. This is actually comparatively a pretty long track. Um, I mean, compared to tracks in the two first cups of online, to so say the first four cups, um, mushroom cup, um, flower cup, uh, shell cup, and this cup. So this is a pretty long track, actually. It's well over three minutes long in the end. And you're basically just driving around the town. And either way, I think this is a really good track. Um, on the DS, they actually had some challenges. Mark our, Mark our DS had challenges that you could do. And I think, I, I, I'm, I could be mistaken about this, but you were supposed to hit every box in the stage or something like that. Destroy all boxes or something. They had challenges like that anyway. By the way, this was perfect. This was perfect. I did, don't think I got hit once by anything. No lightning, no blue shell, no pow, nothing. I don't remember, actually. I don't think I was hit by anything. That was really good. That was really good. And we have one more race before and the end of the, sh the banana cup. I'm probably gonna hang up some clothes, by the way, between... I mean, it doesn't matter to you, because these will be going up uh, a day apart anyway, but um, before I do the next cup, um, well, this is Waluigi, this is on the GameCube, I think, um, Waluigi track or something, Waluigi Raceway, I don't know, I actually didn't pay attention to the name, it's Waluigi something, and then, um, it's from the GameCube. I love this. This track is a really good one as well. One of the best on the GameCube, for sure, in my opinion. Um, anyway, let me finish my thought. I'm gonna hang up some clothes between the videos that I'm recording. Not that it matters to you, because, um, like I said, we're going up a day apart anyway. But, um, yeah, I kind of have to hang up some clothes and get them to dry up a little bit um, in the summer, in the, in the air, for like, oh, it is a summer day. There's the power block that we didn't see at the Fina Square. So, all these stages have been really good. Um, and there's a blue shot. So, that's the second one today. Um, and the uh, fifth one, totally. And there's a gray. I'm glad it took a while to get to me. <laughs> Couldn't have been more clutch, to be honest. That was wild. But I'm getting used to this game now. I think the the different um, the different uh, speeds, you know, 50 cc, 100 cc, that sort of thing, is to um, get you used to the game. That's why they have uh, different difficulties, I guess you can call them. This is gonna happen. It's the freaking thing doesn't protect, protect me. And, it's good. and, well, this track is going well, hasn't it? Jesus Christ! The game is just throwing everything at me here. This is also a long track, actually. All in all, well over three minutes. That second lap, though. Uh, unless I get hit by a blue shot, a lot of things can hit me here, and I will lose all my lives. But I am protected against everything but power block, uh, lightning, and shell. <laughs> This game is just throwing 
absolutely everything at me. The wrench, like, the kitchen sink even, everything is being thrown at me. This track has been delayed by at least 30 seconds. Another one! Really? That's the third one? Wow! That was insane amount of... Wow, I'm, I'm speechless. Three blue shells? Three blue shells at that stage, at that track. Power blocks, lightning, several red shells. Wow, that was freaking insane. The game just didn't want me to get two stars, is basically what I'm getting at here. That's probably one star because of that track. Wow, that was insane. I'll get two stars still, but wow. That was crazy. Anyway, we have unlocked Leaf Cup. Leaf Cup, which is great. Then we can do that after um, we're done with when I'm done with uh, hanging up the clothes. Uh, so that's gonna be for t today. Now it's gonna be for this video. I hope you enjoyed. It's gonna be it for today for you. I'm gonna still be recording today, but anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for more Mario Kart Wii when we do Leaf Cup 50 CC. See you later. Bye bye.